walking the ramps at Ina and I-10 are finally open after two years of construction. Yes, and it's a welcome announcement for many of the surrounding businesses that were impacted by the closure. News 4 Tucson's Danelle Confair joins us live off of Ina and Interstate 10. Danelle. Hey Angelique, hey John, yeah, an exciting day for drivers as that driving time lessens and businesses are equally excited as more customers have already started coming in. It's really been up and down. Um, we've had some really slow times. Um, the weekend stayed pretty steady, but mostly during the week we lost a lot of business for um, through traffic. For the past two years, construction has closed Ina and I-10. It's all part of a modern traffic interchange that takes Ina Road over the Union Pacific Railroad tracks. But with the exit closed, commuters didn't have easy access to several businesses. We had heard that uh, businesses along the closed area were kind of hurting, so we thought, well, we'll definitely help them out. Oh, sure. On Tuesday, the exit opened back up with just the widening of Ina Road left to finish. We're excited. We're happy to see everybody come back and hopefully the flow gets uh, normal again for us. The rest of the project will take two months and widen Ina Road from I-10 west to the Santa Cruz River, connecting with a new bridge over the river. As we got closer, it was apparent that Ina exit was open, so we thought we'll take a chance. Yes. And here we are. Commuters also happy to save on driving time. I'll probably get to sleep in an extra 10 minutes, so that's always a plus. Hey, and the good news also is in two months, not a cone in sight behind me, so we have that to look forward to. Guys, back to you in studio. All right.